Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. Today we're going to be tackling the first Dark World, so we're just going to do Chapter 1, The Forest, but all in the Dark World. And we're going to use Alien Hominid by popular demand. My intention is to use an unlockable character for every single one of the Dark Worlds, a uh, one per Dark World. So if you have a request for someone you want me to use on World 2 specifically, or just a Dark World in the future, please let me know. I don't have all of the characters, but I do have most of them at this point, even though I haven't made introduction videos for all of them, or bonus videos for all of them. I'll save a lot of you guys some time, I do not have the kid from I Wanna Be The Guy yet, that is pending. Uh, pending my actual completion of the warp zone he is in, which is ungodly difficult, probably the hardest level maybe I've played in any game in my entire life, but one day I will conquer that. I also don't have the castle crashes, which believe me, I'm looking forward to as well. But uh, any other character, yeah, just let me know in the comments. So if you're not familiar with the concept of the dark world, basically if you A plus a stage in the light world and you A plus a stage by defeating it in a certain time frame, then you unlock the Dark World counterpart for that stage. And these stages tend to have a similar or oftentimes exactly the same layout, only they're much harder because they usually put extra obstacles in, like a 30-foot saw blade in your way. For the most part, in Chapter 1, these levels are not of an unbearable difficulty, but they are much, much harder than just the regular forest levels. Once you get on to, perhaps, Chapter 3, Chapter 4 in the Dark World, there is an insane level of difficulty to these levels. I would say maybe every level is two to three times harder than its Light World counterpart. And, you know, I guess you can't really quantify how difficult something is except for deaths, but uh, that would be my expectation, is you die uh, about three times more trying to figure out how to beat the level in a Dark World version as opposed to the Light World version. Not to mention, it's just difficult to A-plus all of those stages as you get into Hell, Rapture, and beyond. So yeah, although it's not difficult now, trust me, it ramps up. So, uh, although I want to do the Dark World stages, don't expect too many of them right off the bat, because it's just too difficult. And honestly, I have to A-plus some more stages, I think starting in Hell, to actually unlock the Dark World stages. But it's more of a long-term goal. This stage, as I talk about them not being this difficult yet, this stage is one of the ones that is actually kind of a pain in the ass for me. But I finally uh, wised up and went with a better strategy on this one. Yeah, so with Alien Hominid's Blaster, that last jump is kind of a no-brainer. The levels, I've got to say, I really like the level design on the Dark World levels. Not just graphically, uh, as you'll see later, but uh, in particular just the way the gameplay flows. You can tell it's obviously been tweaked and tested and obviously designed very well in order to make sure that the challenge level is appropriate. Most of the time, the challenge level is actually perfect. It never crosses over into something that's too hard, and it's never mundane in terms of easy of how easy it is. Sometimes there's an occasional level which is a little bit too difficult, or borders on being unfair in terms of difficulty, as to where your skills and development are supposed to be at this point in the game, but, you know, for the most part, works pretty well. They go a little bit saw crazy, which is annoying, because saws are probably my least favorite hazard in this game. You get a real sense of accomplishment when you actually beat these levels, though. Particularly as you progress in the game. <clears throat> Alien Hominid is actually a good choice to do Chapter 1 The Dark World. I'd probably prefer to be using Meat Boy, but there are times when Alien Hominid actually comes in handy, because his blaster makes a lot of those wall jumps much, much easier. And this is another level, like the one uh, a few levels ago, that actually drives me crazy. I think... I'm not sure, but I think it's because there's a jump at the top, or a series of jumps at the top, actually, that really constrict your vertical space. So there'll be saws coming at you from a saw thrower, but you'll also have to jump over them, and you only have one block of vertical clearance above you. Those uh, really mess with me. I find those incredibly frustrating. But, uh, you know, if it makes sense, frustrating in a good way, because, again, you get a, a good sense of accomplishment when you actually finish them. So we'll just take it slow here, make sure we've got it. To add insult to injury, there's a bandage on this level too, but I'll let you guys uh, tough that one out for yourself. I had to go through that. Starting at this point, the levels actually ease up a little bit. At least for the, the remainder of Chapter 1. But they, trust me, they pick up, as I've reiterated several times. <clears throat> the Clock is one of the levels that I actually would love to have Alien Hominid on. 
So, like, that vertical jump with the blaster makes it a lot easier to get up there. With Meat Boy, this level is a pain in the ass. I would encourage you to unlock him. Oh, yeah, do not adjust your television set. You do not have glaucoma. This is probably one of the ugliest levels in the game. And, you know, normally, when the game messes with the art style a little bit, I actually really like it. And some of the more striking and beautiful levels in the game actually occur when they do this. But this one, for me, is just a little bit over the top for my taste. I think it actually hurts my eyes quite a good deal. It's like pouring hydrochloric acid in them. And this is one of the levels, if you've seen part one of this Let's Play, that actually gave me a lot of trouble, or normally gives me a lot of trouble, on the light world. So it's not a surprise that I had a little bit of a, a tough time there. You know, for my money, I think this level is actually a little bit easier in the dark world than it is in the light world. Obviously, you do have those saws chasing you, so you've got to kind of keep a, keep a fire under you as I die. But they've neutered the end of the level a little bit. There used to be three saw throwers, but in the Dark World version, there's only one. So it's actually, past this point, much easier. Normally, there are saw throwers in between those saws. Yeah, so just leisurely walk over to Bandage Girl. This is the final level, which can be a real pain in the ass. You really want to dissolve all of those blocks in the center, though. So far, so good. Okay, so I left one. Should still be makeable. Ooh, that was pretty close. I think, actually, Alien Hominid's blaster saved me, so yet another endorsement for using Alien Hominid on these levels. Rest of this part, actually kind of a cakewalk in comparison. So there you go. Alien Hominid gameplay video. Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in future Dark World videos.